What's up guys, Rob the Awesome here, and today we're going to be looking at the brand new secondary weapon introduced into the Inferno update that gives the power more high on mobility and more ways to flank for damage, the Thermal Thruster. This day of the art jetpack provides more ways to flank the enemy and build a momentum like never before, making the pyro even deadlier as an offensive class. It can be confusing at first just how useful this weapon can be, since it pretty much just came out, but once you get the hang of the sky high mobility tool, you'll see just how much fun you can have and how much you can do with just a little boost. Though this weapon was teased throughout the multi-day hype and is considered one of the most anticipated weapons in the Inferno update, how does one make use of such an elaborate secondary? With new area access, recharge management, and a handle on habits, you'll be flying high in the sky in no time. <laughs> In order to get the most out of this weapon and truly value its gameplay mechanics, we need to dive right into this weapon's stats and point out what each one is specifically used for. To start, the Thermal Thruster has two charges that you can use at a time. Each charge significantly gives the pirate distance in the direction you are looking at to give him great momentum or to help him reach new heights. Each charge takes 15 seconds to recharge with no way to make it shorter, so be sure to use your jetpack wisely. You are also able to deal three times falling damage to players that you land on, acting as a mantra for our burning buddy. Lastly, you can also extinguish teammates and push enemies back when you land, with the force and radius being based on how much velocity you reached on impact. Now that we've looked into the stats, let's focus on how to effectively use this weapon in combat. This is exactly the type of mobility the Pyro has needed for ages now. No longer will you need to be struggling behind everyone on rollouts or take 10 extra seconds traveling the long way for a flank. This has opened up many doors for Pyro opportunities. Though with two charges, what's the best way to utilize this jetpack to the max? As mentioned already, the jetpack will be amazing when it comes to rollouts. The two charges you start out with are enough to get you close to mid on almost any map it performed correctly, and will perfectly set you up for oncoming attackers before anyone else. Sure, it'll take 15 seconds to refill one charge, but as long as you play a little area denial with your primary weapon, it won't take long before you have an escape option when things get hairy. Another way to maximize your jetpack usage is to take note of high ground only accessible to jump classes. You now have access to those areas too, and it can be a great surprise attack if enemies don't expect pyros to be there. Lastly, this weapon is great for backing up. Not only will it let you be able to see who's falling you, but when done correctly, you can get more height and thus more momentum than if you had gone forward. It's also less awkward to look at the ground than to look at the sky, so that in itself is a bonus. This is going to help so much in achieving more kills and setups with the pyro, but it's easy to fall into bad habits. Here are some things you should be doing every time you're ready for liftoff. Once you have a greater understanding of how the jetpack works, how the momentum works, and all that, always remember to switch your weapons as soon as possible. You can't jump twice in the air, so keeping the jetpack out won't do you much good, and with the insane amount of time it takes to put the jetpack away, you'll want to get your weapons out as early as possible so you can wreak havoc and destruction. Another thing to know is that just because you have the ability to do three times falling damage on enemy players, blast players back on impact, and extinguish teammates, all of these abilities are fundamental wastes of time and resources. If you need to extinguish someone, use your primary weapon. Don't waste a precious charge on something you can 100% avoid. Also, the blast you produce on impact doesn't do any damage and only pushes them slightly away. This will only harm you further by giving them room to escape, so be careful on how you bomb in so that you can be as effective as possible. And obviously, trying to land on a player for damage isn't going to be effective. It only does minimal damage and could get you killed if you keep on trying. You can go for it if you like, but be sure to have your weapon out as soon as possible and prepare for the worst. The last thing you should keep in mind when utilizing the jetpack is that you won't have a secondary shotgun or flare gun to puff and sting. Some people will get into a rhythm and just instinctively pull out their secondary to do extra damage. Your jetpack is your secondary now and swapping to it all willy nilly will punish you in the moment since it takes forever to pull out and put away. Don't make the mistake of bringing it out unless you absolutely need to. Get into the mindset that the jetpack is what you have equipped and there's no secondary to help you out with the damage. The jetpack is going to definitely be a game changer for the pyro, and I'm excited to see what the people are going to come up with in terms of strategy. Just keep in mind the simple tips and tricks I mentioned before, and don't fall into bad habits. This new pyro secondary is here to stay, and will be a key factor to your team's success. Flanking is easier. Rollouts are a cinch. What's there not to love? With a bit of time and effort, this will be a must-have for certain situations, and be an important factor to winning the round. Though some 
some maps might not have that many platforms high up for flanking, and some holes don't call for the jetpack, you can always switch to another weapon and come back to it when the time calls for it. The pyro is finally reaching new heights when it comes to gameplay, and the new mechanics will have him soaring the kill feed and give him the viability needed to make the pyro great again. He made his campaign known, and he won fair and square against the heavy. Glad to see he got something as awesome as a jetpack to bring him back from the ashes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. If you like these types of videos, leave a like and subscribe. Maybe even tell me what weapons I should review for next time. Remember to be awesome, stay awesome, and to have an awesome day. I'm Rob the Awesome, and I'll see you guys later. Ciao for now. Motherfucker, I'm awesome. No, you're not, dude. Don't lie. I'm awesome. I'm driving around in my mom's ride. I'm awesome. A quarter of my life gone by, and I met all my friends online. Motherfucker, I'm awesome. I will run away from a brawl. I'm awesome. There's no voicemail, nobody calls. I'm awesome. I can't afford to buy eight balls, and I talk to myself on my Facebook wall. You know my pants sad.